In this problem, we're going to construct a truth table for this statement. We'll start by listing all the possible truth values for P and Q. So we have P and we have Q. So a simple case is when they're both true, so true, true. Another case is when the first one is true and the last one is false. And then we can switch these, so we have false, true. And the very last case would be when they are both false, so false, false. Okay, good stuff. So now uh, we have to write the other statements uh, needed in order to come up with this one. So it looks like we're going to need not P, and we're also going to need not Q. And then from what we have here, we can now construct not P or Q. And then lastly, we can write down our final statement, so not P or Q implies not Q. Okay, um, so for not P, we just need to look at the column where the P is and then just negate all of the truth values. So true becomes false, true becomes false, false becomes true, and false becomes true. For not Q, it's the same thing. We just negate all of the truth values. True becomes false, false becomes true, true becomes false, false becomes true. And the last piece here, not P or Q, uh, this will be true uh, when at least one of these is true. So we're looking here and here. So in this case, the Q is true, so it's true. Here they're both false. That's the only case where it's false. Again, the OR is true when at least one of these is true. It's false only when both are false, which is this case here. The second case here, um, it's both true, so it's true. And the last case here, it's uh, true, so it's true. Right? If you get any trues, um, it's going to be it's going to be true. Uh, this one is only false when this piece is true and this piece is false. That's the only time it's false. So we're looking at this here and we're looking at this here. So when the first part is true and the second part is false, it's false. Otherwise it's true. So already we're at that case where it's false, right? The first one is true, the second one is false. Here it's going to be true. Here the first one is true, second one is false, so it's false. And then here it's going to be true. And that completes the truth table.